Welcome to WACB 2021. My name is Sohi Par. Today I'm going to present our work on adaptive streaming of 360 degree videos with reinforcement learning. Most adaptive video streaming techniques first encode a video into multiple chunks of a fixed duration called a segment and encode the video at multiple video bit rates. Then it delivers the video segment at a rate that best matches the network conditions. The goal is to maximize the user viewing experience, such as high video bit rate, low rebuffering time, and smooth playback across the segment. In 360 degree videos, the amount of video data is an order of magnitude larger than conventional video to achieve similar quality. When it is delivered through the conventional video streaming framework, a user views only a small portion. And much of the network bandwidth is used up by the content that is not actually viewed. To utilize the network bandwidth efficiently, it must both adapt well to the changing viewport of the user and variation of available network bandwidth. Our goal is to predict the user's viewing direction in advance and determine which part of the scene to download, putting more emphasis on the part the user is likely to view so that we can maximize the user quality of experience given network constraints. This can be achieved by dividing the scene into tiles and choosing what tiles to download in what quality for each video segment. Overall, such system must run a complex optimization in real time in, in the presence of multiple uncertainties. To address this problem, we made three major contributions. First, we developed an interpretable reinforcement learning based system called Atria. We run a streaming policy that decides sequentially the tile and the tile quality to download. And we run comprehensive evaluation to compare Atria with other state of the art techniques. Choosing what and when to download is a sequential decision-making process which can be modeled using reinforcement learning. The environment is video network. The agent runs on a player and observes the state. And the action is to select a tile and tile quality to download. And based on the playback, the reward is the user view quality of experience. In designing reinforcement learning agent, we consider two different approaches. First, the agent selects a tile and tile quality to download, or the order of tile selection is fixed and the agent selects the tile quality to download. This figure illustrates the overview of our system design. We use 10 videos and each video has head tracking data from 50 users. And we use about 270 real network traces. This amounts to 135,000 video streaming sessions. To evaluate the impact of each feature type, we run an ablation study which shows removing any feature type would reduce both video quality and the QoE. To evaluate the performance of our system, we compare Atria with other state-of-the-art techniques which shows Atria outperforms the other techniques. To illustrate if Atria adapts well to, for unseen videos, we compare the average QoE for streaming videos used in training and videos not used in training. Two, per two performance curves are similar. We also evaluate the performance when we train Atria with only one video. The result shows that our technique still outperforms the other techniques in all video streaming. And it suggests that it is unnecessary to train Atria on any specific video and that Atria can generalize well on unseen videos. In conclusion, for bandwidth-efficient streaming of 360-degree videos, the streaming technique must adapt both to the changing viewport and network conditions. And we develop Atria, which uses 3D CNN model to predict the viewport and applies a reinforcement learning-based adaptive streaming approach. And we address the challenges of using reinforcement learning in this scenario. And our comprehensive evaluation with real network traces shows that Atria is a much more agile streaming technique that adapts well to the changing network and user viewports. And Atria outperforms the state-of-the-art techniques. For more details, please refer to our paper. Thank you for listening.